It's late in the night, and I have to talk very softly, but this is important, so I got up to make this video. This is about how I know that AIDS and COVID-19 are attacks by the British. When Peter Gabriel put out So, he had played a poetry game with me where I gave him the opening line to a poem and he completed the line. His friend Robert Fripp had toured America promoting found sounds. He was making tapes of things that he found and using them for his music. One of the tapes that he had was the answering machine message that I left after he sent me a postcard bearing his phone number. This answering machine tape, Peter Gabriel um, used as the opening line of the song called That Voice Again. On that voice again, he says, I can sense the danger, listen to the wind. The first record of King Crimson was played for me by Ian Wattenmaker, an Israeli neurosurgeon. It talks about neurosurgeons screaming for more, a paranoia's poison door. Greg Carl, who also was in the gang, who was playing King Crimson a lot for me as a child, a gang including Ian Wattenmaker called the Gutter Snipes, says in his tract about all of this, the dialectic is established at the onset. A third member of the gang, Mike McGarvey, uses the dialectic established at the onset of pigment and figment, paranoias and poison. This is an alibi to call it paranoia, when in reality it is poison. They say, I can sense the danger, listen to the wind. The wind does not hear, the wind cannot hear, is the refrain on the record itself. It has a man screaming on the cover with his ear being wrenched out of his head. I began putting together that these people were probably behind the fact that I was kidnapped and tortured as a child. Gabriel has a yammer from Senegal that he runs through this adjacent song called In Your Eyes. You hear Yusu Endur screaming, some. Well, what they knew was that I had been tormented by Leslie Katz, an acquaintance of um, Martin Andelman, who was following me um, in secret with tape recorders and making up stories about me from cut and paste techniques and denying that I had been kidnapped. This yammer triggered a neuroplasm that Ian Wattenmaker had implanted and I went into convulsive seizures. You can now see the neuroplasm. I'll use my facial muscles and pull on it so that you can see it. It's always in there throttling. I didn't know it was there until after I had gone into convulsive arrest in Iowa screaming and I remembered being kidnapped and tortured by a gang called the Pittman as a child. I'll show it to you. That was released by the Yammer of Andor. What they tried to do and succeeded in doing these Europeans was give a dissonance of the lurid, a lurid dissonance around my name, which attaches to the entire American enterprise as a result of their uh, foul play. So they sought to integrate the laws they were telling to in the poisons that they were using into media to executives working with filmmakers. They talk about letters being in a kid's mail bag in the diva. The film diva. Well, they had planted letters in my mail bag 
the person who wrote the letters in Israeli has a look-alike on the cover of Robert Fripp's record, God Save the Queen. Another significant factor is that I hitchhiked from Pittsburgh to St. Louis just to hear Robert Fripp play in high school. I was almost deaf. I didn't realize that he was behind the trauma that had been inflicted on me, and I knew that I liked his music. This was trickery of a great ingenuity from British brainwashing and from their royal class. In hitchhiking from Pittsburgh to St. Louis just to hear Robert Fripp play, I fell into the web of the Rolling Stones and the Beatles. In the film Diva, there's a poster of a concert in Paris in which the kid whose letters are in his mailbag without him knowing it goes all the way across the continent of Europe on a moped just to hear the diva play. The only line in English she says, so you are a real fan. When the gown he stole from her drops from the poster, we see that the performance was held on my birthday. I am a target in an attack on the United States. Joe Biden, it's time to own up. It's time to man up. It's time to realize what has happened or to admit that you are the responsible party. I was entitled to legal services. Instead, I was tortured. They put together a committee of the actual attackers, a committee formed by the people who tortured me. Judge and jury in my head, Peter Gabriel sings. Judge Lynch, judge, jury, and executioner, made up of yammers from places like the Black Panther Party who want a sacrificial white. Tracy Chapman, a partner of Peter Gabriel, says one white boy goes blonde in one of her records. It's an allusion to the way that they framed a person who they put into a coma. It's military sociology. Robert Fripp, my message to you is it's not going to work. And his answer is going to be a laugh, a maniacal laugh. Poor little Jimmy, it already has.